Here we are together again on the radio. Danny writes in and says, um, I live in Bellingham, Washington, Tom, and you know exactly what you're talking about. I had a little girl four years ago because her bitch mother told me she couldn't have kids. And I was a complete pussy and believed her. Anyways, I'm with a girl now and her best friend pisses me off. This girl, we'll call her Jane, thinks she's hot stuff. And I can't help but shake my head at her. <clears throat> She's a 23-year-old virgin and a can of Crisco, if I may quote one of your callers. You know what a can of Crisco is, right? She's a porker. This bitch has never even dated someone. And she thinks she's going to get Ewan McGregor or Eddie Vedder or somebody like that. Not only is this girl a greasy bitch, she thinks she knows everything. She came up here to visit my girlfriend and she was trying to tell me that Edgar Martinez you know, the designated hitter for the Seattle Mariners. And at one point, left the Mariners and played for the Rockies. She knows nothing about baseball, yet she tries to argue that. Baseball, as you well know, Tom, is a man's game. She also tried telling me that I know nothing about a certain mental condition. I have a degree in psychology. I would think I know something about it. After all, this broad thinks she's going to work on television or something. And then... My girlfriend and this bitch, Jane, get mad at me when I tell her she is ignorant when it comes to baseball and psychology, two things I am heavily involved in. Anyways, Tom, I can't be around this bitch because my girlfriend thinks it makes tension. I don't want to be around her anyway. So my question is, Tom, what do I do when this bitch is around? She makes my relationship with my girlfriend frustrating, and quite honestly, I do hate her. But I am given a horrible guilt trip if I don't hang out with them. Thanks, Danny. Danny, I got bad news for you. I don't know how old you are, but if your girlfriend's friend is 23, chances are she's 23, chances are you're 23. And you shouldn't have a girlfriend to begin with. But I, um, I want to say something that really um, makes some people uncomfortable because you really have to look at yourself here. But um, your friends are you. I know everything I need to know about you by looking at your friends. Whoever they are, the people you're closest to, are you. They're extensions of you. Many people get angry at this because they think of the friends they have and they go, oh, no, I'm not like that. No, I'm not like this. No, I'm not like... They have a very hard time with this. I happen to believe that uh, in the case of... Uh, in this case or any other case, if that's what her friends are like, that's what she is like. And if she's not like that today, she will be like that. Believe me, I've been with... Um, I've been with the women, for example, who have... Uh, the girlfriends who all go out and cheat. Right? They all go out and bang somebody else. And then they all get together and gossip about it. Each one telling the others what it was like to cheat on their boyfriends or cheat on their husbands. They all get together. Now, of course, uh, the first thing you hear the minute you bring this up is, I can't believe you're... You think I would be like that just because I was honest and I told you about my friends and now you're blaming me. You're saying that I'm going to be like that and I'm not like... Come on. If all your friends are doing that, you're going to do that. Well, you've already done that. Well, you're doing it right now. And this goes for any number of characteristics. You know, girls who are all gold diggers. Girls who all are collecting child support from their reluctant fathers of their babies. Girls who've all had to chase their ex. By the way, women just tend to hang out with other women who have the same concerns, issues, and problems. They, 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 like a magnet, they all gravitate to each other. If you find one woman who says, I'm trying to catch up with my ex so he'll live up to his responsibility. We have a baby together and I'm trying to catch up... I guarantee you she's got six other friends who are doing the same thing. 
Which means if you're with a chick, in that case, who hasn't had a baby yet, but all her friends do, or they're all chasing down guys who owe the money, guaranteed she'll be one eventually. It's just the way it is. This also goes for various kinds of chemical abuse. If all the friends are drug addicts, if the friends are all alcoholics, if the friends are all, um, you know, staying out till 4 o'clock in the morning, I guarantee you, people hang out with people who like to do the things they like to do. People who are comfortable with that kind of behavior. And um, don't let them convince you otherwise. I had a situation with somebody once, the true story, situation with somebody once who um, said she would never cheat on anybody, but her best friend was cheating on her husband and uh, needed some place to go bang the other guy. And she said, why don't you just use my apartment? Now, can you trust that person? Well, it might be difficult. And, of course, they're going to protest to it. Oh, I can't believe you would think. But, like, if you accept that kind of behavior, if that kind of behavior is okay, even if you haven't done it yet, chances are you will. Either that or you need a whole new set of friends. It's just the way it is. And it's not just women, by the way. It's guys also. I mean, uh, anybody who um, hangs out around, uh, you know, Six other people who screw around. Six other people who uh, take money from the person they're with. Uh, the six other people who uh, are, um, I don't know, difficult, dangerous. People who commit crimes, whatever. Chances are, if you're not in that group already, up to your neck, it, you aspire to be. You tend to pick friends who are what you are or what you want to be. That's what you do. It's hard to uh, handle, but it's true. Now, I know that our audience is primarily men, and so I'm going to tailor this question to the men who listen to the show. Because um, I think many times you could save yourself a lot of time. If you're in a relationship with somebody, if you look at their friends, and you see that the friends are in some way impossible to be around, the friends do things you object to. The friends can't be trusted. You could dump that bitch today. Because ultimately, that's the kind of character that your girlfriend either aspires to or is already subscribing to. You probably can't see it because she's a nice piece of ass or because she's your girlfriend and you can't be objective about it. But I'm telling you, look at her friends and you're going to learn something about her. Something you may have a hard time accepting. So what I want to find out from you this hour, boys, is this. Does your girl have friends that you absolutely hate? Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I think you need to step back and, and double-check your priorities. Oh, please, my priorities are that we start making things fair in this country for men. Because men have gotten their asses kicked. It's the Tom Like It Show. On none of Tom Like It Show at one 800 800 tom Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. All right, does your girl have friends you hate? It's John on the Tom Like You Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, John. It's a long-time listener, first-time caller. Thank you. Yeah, I've been listening to you, and I wish I had took your advice many years ago. Which advice is that? And that is to uh, abide your 101 rules, which uh -huh. I am... Uh, 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 Encouraging my 19 year old son to follow. And you're 39, you have a 19 year old son, okay? Yes. Uh, the situation is rendering that uh, my wife has all of a sudden leaned towards her sister, and she is the person that I dislike the most um, in our relationship as far as her being friends. She's friend and sister. And she's dragging my wife off to these singles clubs, like you're saying, out in, you know, out until 4 o'clock in the morning. 
and feeling that she's justified doing this with her sister. And her sister's ran around with, uh, I don't know, a dozen guys in the past seven years after her breakup with her husband. So in the process of this all, we're going to be going through a divorce. I've uh, gotten a hold of an attorney, and uh, I'm taking charge in the situation. Good. And uh, I'm getting out of here. It's just uh, it's crazy in how, uh, how quick a woman can make a decision like that and what it affects it does on the family. Because most women let their friends and their sisters and their mothers make their decisions for them. That is correct, Tom. Uh, her sister stands by her side like a warrior now, and she says that she'll take her sister over me in any situation. So um, I'm out of there, Tom. You know, it's uh, it's hard coming. i got three children. and um, You ought to nail her sister. Oh, God, dude, she's a hottie. You ought to nail her. Oh, dude, well, you know, she's leaned toward it, but, you know, I, I know I, she's despicable. You can tell that she uh, she actually leans toward that, Tom. And, uh, I just well, you agree with me, then, that uh, a woman's friends, that, that, that tells you uh, everything you need to know about her. Oh, you got it, Tom. You nailed it right on the button. Uh -huh. And uh, there's a lot of it out there. And I've watched this develop over the last six months, and I'm standing up for myself throughout the whole time, and my wife cannot tolerate me anymore because I'm being a man about the situation. Good for you, John. I appreciate it. It's Scott on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Okay. Well, uh, similar situation to the last caller. My uh, wife's sister is a complete bitch. She's a miserable hermit, and she's uh, just turned 40, and she's pissed off at me. And um, Pissed off at you? I, Why? Well, because I married her sister, and her uh, um, my wife, she has a normal life. We have kids, and we're progressing in life, and she... Uh, She's stuck at home doing nothing and being miserable. She, well, uh, she's the spinster, the uh, the poor aunt. Does she own a cat? Ex yeah, exactly. Of course she does. She uh, she's just miserable and lonely, and she wonders why she's not married. And uh, well, she's been like this because she's life. miserable and lonely. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and she makes everyone else around her miserable. Well, she she knows she's not welcome in my house, and. Uh, she comes over my house. It's not that she's not welcome. I respect my wife, and she could have a relationship with her sister. I made it quite clear, though, if, A, if she ever turns like her, we're done, because I don't want to be like that, and, B, if she comes over the house, I'm out of there. Or they and, and does your house. wife know this? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've told her sister straight out right in front of my wife, and she gets all teary-eyed and cried and upset and stuff, but screw her. This is my house. I pay the bills. Well, you're right um, about that. So she she can come and she can come over to my house if she wants to visit my wife. But I told her I'm having nothing to do with her. Uh, and my wife's cool, like, cool with it. But uh, on the same flip side of that, when uh, she pisses off my wife, I'll back up my wife and say, "I told you she's a bitch." And then it's uh, well, it's my sister. I could talk about her, but you you can't. I'm just like whatever. So I just keep my mouth shut now and. Just ignore her every time she heard the subject comes up of old uh, Sarah. I ignore the subject altogether, and that pisses everyone off even more because they just know I don't give a crap. <laughs> no, I understand. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Tina on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How you Hi. doing? All right. Um, you know, I just have one quick question. What mm. you're telling the guys, um, would this be the same advice you would give to women? Like, for instance, if I had a boyfriend who I, you know, had friends like that that constantly cheated on their wives or girlfriends, should I dump him too? Well, uh, you weren't listening at the beginning. I said this yeah, applies to sorry. men and women. I mean, oh, okay, the, okay, the person okay. you're with, right? Uh, look at their friends. Okay. Because uh, especially if they've ever, um, like, helped to hide this material or protected right. them, right. chances are that's what you're getting. True. You know what? You're right, because I wasn't listening... Um, I'm at work right now, so I was kind of helping people and stuff. And then uh, when I heard you say it, it kind of sounded like you're just kind of preaching to the guys. And not no, I, all I said was that since guys are the primary listeners, I aimed uh, the question at guys. But in the beginning, I I did not uh, specify gender. I said uh, okay. you, you are your friends. Your friends are you. Well, thank you. I think you're awesome. Well, thank you, Tina. That's all I have to say. <laughs> thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Ben on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yeah, hey, man. Um, what, uh, what does it mean when uh, they don't even they don't have any friends? When they don't have any friends, it means they're going to become completely dependent upon you. 
Oh, what if they're not? What if they're like uh, completely independent? They fight to be independent. Uh, she maybe might bed with you one night. Uh, like, man, I, I'm lucky if I get it once a month, dude. Well, pal, yeah, you're 22. What are you doing with a girlfriend? Oh, uh, well, I don't know, man. Why would you yeah. tolerate having sex only once a month? Dude, it's hard, man. <laughs> How? It's hard to find sex? No, it's, no, it's not hard, but I'm a pretty dedicated, loyal guy, you know. Why? He's got some good qualities. No, well, you know, one of them is not sex. You're, when you're 22, you need to have sex four times a day. <laughs> well, I agree with you there. All right, well, then you should be having it four times a day with somebody. <laughs> well, uh... Well, and, if you, and if you're not getting it, you're a pussy. Well, yeah, but you know, see, I'm a, I'm pretty passive, but uh. Well, like, you know what? Then you, you're gonna be doomed to a life of getting no, it no, once a month. I just feel bad for her. I mean, she's. Man, I want to. You feel bad for her? Why? Because she's got anxiety and she's had some. How? Bad yeah, what are you doing? Hanging? Was she? Is she on medication of some kind? Yeah. Oh, Ben, that's the worst. I might add that a lot of that anti-depression medicine that chicks take. Yeah. You know, it causes them not to be able to have an orgasm or get aroused. Oh, I can get her off, man. That's well, that, no, no. That's what you think. <laughs> if she's on medication, she's probably faking it. And it's once a month because that's about all she can stand to fake it for you. Oh, my God, dude. Don't you understand that? Uh. Uh. Pow. <laughs> what have I said on the air about chicks who, who are on medication? Uh, don't go near him. Right, don't go near him. What have I said about having a girlfriend under the age of 25? Uh, well, she's not. She's 29, man. No, wait, you're under the age of 25. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't... So, what have I said? Don't tie myself down. Right. And, uh, obviously you think you know more than I do, don't you? No, no, I don't know. Then what are you doing? I, uh, that's what I'm calling you for, man. I'm How? You, uh... you break up with her today. <laughs> hmm... What if she won't leave me alone, though? Pal. I've done that before. Pal, you tell her if, if she's ready to have sex, you're, you're open. Other than that, you're done. All right. Be a man. I'll be a man. I'm serious. <laughs> I know you won't. You're a pussy. Oh, come on. Are your parents still together? My parents? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They are. Is your father a pussy? Oh, hell no, dude. Who wears the pants in the house? Well, he does. Does your father know about your problem here? Um, eh, he, he jokes about it. He jokes about it. Yeah, he thinks right. you're a little homo. Together this month. You know what? You're a little pansy. And uh, you better step up to the plate and be a man or else. I'm not kidding. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. The Tom Likas Show. This is the Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. Does your girl have friends you hate? Wayne on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, Wayne. Love your show, man. Thank you. I was you. listening to the guy with the uh, sister problem. Yeah. yeah. I got a little worse. Uh, her sister lives with her. Oh, it's messed up, man. She's miserable, just like he was saying, you know, the other one. Uh-huh. And she's, like, lonely and miserable. She just tries to make everybody around her miserable. Pathetic, man. And uh, when you complain to your uh, fiancé? Oh, yeah, we argue about it sometimes. Well, eventually... Um, I put it out because when we got together, they lived together before. And then when we got together, I came out, she, like, got jealous. You know what I mean? She liked me, you know, a little bit until I, uh, we moved in together. And then, oh, man, this is a bitch. Did you uh, ever consider the possibility that this will be an ongoing issue if you get married? Well, yeah, we're talking about that right now. Well, maybe but, uh, you shouldn't be getting married. Well, she, uh, she moved out because, like, um, I said, look, I mean, they're, neither me or her. She's got to go. But she came back in, and gradually, we just had a baby, you know. What are you doing? Why did you do that? <laughs> I'm uh, 25. Yeah, but why are you having a baby? I know. I know. Well, you know, but why'd you do yeah. it? Well, you know, it just happened. I messed up. No, it didn't just happen. <laughs> it just happened. It didn't just happen. Why weren't you using a condom? Well, she was on the patch. That's what she told you. That's what she told me. You're right. You know what, Tom? When it came out, um, she didn't take the patch at the time, and I didn't know until she was after, after she was pregnant. Yeah, why would you ever believe a woman when she tells her she's on birth control? Well, I, did, I wasn't listening to your show at that time. I, I still don't know why you would believe that. <laughs> well, I love her, but not her sister, though. Anyway. Yeah, but you know what? They're a package. You're getting them both. You're right, man. I think so. 
Uh, I just told her, I said, well, we're, we're not married yet. We actually were going to get married, and then I canceled it because of that. I said, look, I'm not marrying your sister. I'm marrying you. You realize if you don't get married, the only thing you'll have to pay is child support, not uh, vagina money. <laughs> You're right, man. You're right. And uh, the sex is starting to slow down, man, after the baby. Oh, I hate strike it. Strike two. I hate it. What well, then, you say? Well, strike two. Uh, Wayne, can I tell you something? I've said this all along. You know how the sex is now? Yeah, it's like twice a week now. You this, know, wait, no, like this, whatever it is, I don't care what it is, right now it's the best it's ever going to be. <laughs> You're laughing. Yeah, well, pal, sad, pal, yeah. I've been married and divorced four times. That's a sad laugh. This is the best it's ever going to get. Oh, man. Wait till she forgets to use the patch next time. Well, what should I do? Pal, I told you. Give me some advice. DTB, baby. Uh, take the child support. You mean pay it? Pay it. You'll be paying it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hang on a second. Mike, what do you want to say to Wayne here? Wayne, what are you thinking, pal? Come on. I mean, just because the girl says she's on the pill, who cares, man? I always... Dude, you got to put some kind of rubber on there, man. You can't trust a girl. What are you talking about? You better safe than sorry. Yeah, you're right, man. You're right. But, you know, um, I love her, too, though. Yeah, but how much How much would you I like to bet, you. Mike, that Wayne is still not using a condom? What are you thinking, man? I mean, yeah, I love my girlfriend also. It's all great and all, but what if, what if, what if birth control fails? I mean, what if it doesn't work out? It's better to be double the protection than just one sort of protection. Better be no, double the no, so I'm uh, I'm I'm protected now, man. I can't. I, there's no way I could do another, have another baby. So, so you're you using condoms? condoms? Yes. Every time? Every time. All oh, the way through? On. Yeah. Not just at the end or not just at the beginning? No, man. I'm using a condom all the way. I can't have another baby. You better be. That first one was a reality check right there. But why didn't you think beforehand? Come on. It's like life is reality. You got to think about your. There's always re re repercussions to anything you do. Why didn't you think about this beforehand? I mean, shoot, you listen to Tom, right? Listen to what he's talking about. Think beforehand. I never did, though. <laughs> That's not an excuse, though. And why would you marry somebody? You don't like her sister. She's not putting out. She lied no, to you about no, her I birth control. I love her. I love her. But you, you love know, her, even saying. though That's she deceived we're... you about birth control? You love her? Yeah, that's why we're not getting married, though. Is that's why you should never get married to her. I don't plan on any time. <laughs> and no, no, not any time soon. Ever. Ever. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. I agree with you. All right. Uh, hey, well, let me get another mic on here. Mike, what hey, do you want to say to Wayne? Hey, Wayne. Uh, why, why wouldn't you ask to see the patch? Well, no, it wasn't like that. Well, what it was, like, when she gets the patch, there's so many comes in a box, and she uh, told me to, that all of them didn't come in, so told me to take it back to her doctor and, you know, get it, because it wasn't, they all went in there. I'm like, that's something for you to do, and I guess she just never done it. Uh, I mean, if so, <laughs> if I was with a girl and she about. said that I if I was with a girl and she said she was on the patch, I'd say, let me see it. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't just take her word for it. And I'd still wear a cunt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, I mean, if you don't want to have kids, that's what you have to do. Yeah, I'm learning from experience. That's uh, unfortunate, but many of us have done it. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. Hi. Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Does your girl have friends you hate? Let's say hello to Ellen on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Do you care, Ellen? I do care. I'm a first-time listener, and I just wanted to say that um, it's very interesting listening to your, your viewpoints and the young men who are calling in and talking to you. And I think that the information that you're giving them is very valid in some respects. But I, I think it's also important to note that all, not all women are, are dogs who lie to men. No one said that. 
Well, that, that's the impression that a first-time listener is getting. And, I, I, and I'm not, you know, obviously you are giving some information to young men that's very, very important. I would say never believe a woman when she tells you she's on birth control. Never believe her when she says she took the pill. Never believe her when she, when she says they're her real boobs. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm 41 years old. I've been married to the same person for 16 years. And, you know, when I say I'm on birth control, I was on birth control. I mean, I've never had children. Well, fine, but that doesn't mean that it's a wise idea for men to believe you. All right. I, I, I'm not arguing that point, but I just want to make it clear to all the young men who are listening to your program that not, not all women are scheming liars. No, not all. Just most. No, not even most. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And men lie to get sex. I mean, everybody lies. That's the bottom line. Well, With yeah, some exceptions, I, I, of course. I have, I have a belief in people, and I, I like to believe that that's not Well, true. I know. I like to believe in Peter Pan and the Easter Bunny, too, but I know the reality. Okay. So, obviously, since I am a first-time listener, and I did hear you say earlier that your, your show is geared mainly to men. It's, it's aimed at men. We have women who listen, mainly women who want to know how men think. Well, okay, that, that's valid. So, well, I just want to kind of want to throw that out there is the fact that I, I, I agree that there are some scheming women out there, but I, I would like to hope that it's not most of them. Well, I'd, 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 like, I'd like to hope that uh, there won't be any more terrorist attacks on the United States, but I, I think that's Well, I'm you know, per, perhaps dreaming. because I'm not in the dating world anymore, and I don't maybe, maybe I'm, I'm kind of removed from reality. Well, don't worry. When your husband throws you overboard for a trophy wife, then you'll uh, find out what it's like. Well, here, let, let, let me tell you something. I make about three times what my husband makes, and oh. he's not stupid. So you're not that attractive, then? Oh, you know, I'm not an ugly woman. Dear, if you make three times as much as your husband, you're either fat, A, fat, B, homely, or C, all of the above. I am none of the above. Come on. Oh, I swear to God. What do you look like? Oh, I'm about five foot two. And for a middle-aged woman, I'm not fat. It's, you know, I'm probably about 135. 135? Oh, please. That's not bad. That is not bad. You are a minimum of 20 to 25 pounds overweight. Come on. No, I'm telling you what, on a 30, on a 41-year-old woman, that is not bad. Uh, well, dear, believe me, okay. most men do think so. Okay, I wear a size 10. That is not fat. Oh, please, dear. Size 10 is, is, is large for a woman who's 5'2". No. Okay. Hang on a second. No. Hang on a second. Cruz, what do you want to say to Ellen? Oh, man, I'm, I'm a first-time listener, and well, I, <laughs> you're, you're hilarious. Come on, now. It's, it's not just most women. He's, he's, he's absolutely right. I mean, these guys are listening. They're, <laughs> they're listening. They're claiming they're listening. Here, they're, they're doing the same crap that he's telling them not to do. I mean, and, and here you're calling, saying it's, it's a great show, but most women. No, that, some women this, that. Wake up to reality, honey. Everybody, every woman's like that. I've oh, been married think, for twelve years. No, I think you're wrong. You think we're wrong? Yeah. Look at the divorce every, rate. I don't. You think freaking every women woman, are taking over, and you, I mean, and, and look where you're tearing the country to. I don't think every woman is like that. I am not a liar. Oh, I, don't, I don't think you're a liar. I think you're you're delusional. I think you're living somewhere off in some mountain. And where where nothing's really going on. So so you're saying you know the reason that the divorce rate was so low many years ago is because women laid down and took the the crap that men wanted to to shell out. To yeah, them. and now they want to stand up and take the pants, but at the same time, <laughs> hey, listen at the same to time me. Be, I, be, be treat, you want to be treated as equals, but then no. you want to have everything at the same time. Hey, which, I would which is I, I would I would love to be a stay at home wife. But in, the reality of it is is that I've got to work. I, and, where where do you work where most most of the people you know are, are so great and everything everything's so hunky dory? Um, I work for Yum Brands. For who? Yum Brands. That is the parent company for Taco Bell, KFC, Long John Silvers. Okay, I I, 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 <laughs> I won't even get on that one. But uh well, <laughs> you know, and, and I'm proud of what I do, but but the point I'm making, what, what I'm talking about... You obviously you sample a lot of the merchandise. <laughs> I am not fat. There. Come on, ten. There. Ten right. is five, two, and one thirty-five. Come on. <laughs> no, I am not a fat woman. Well, yeah, that's what they all say, right? And you're faithful, and uh, what else are you? 
<laughs> you, well, you have I'm, a great personality, oh. too, right? Well, let, 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 let me tell you, I've been married for 17 years to the same wonderful man, and we get along great. Well, that's because he's out there getting it from somebody else. <laughs> oh, you think language. so? When you're out there hand flowering chicken over there at KFC. <laughs> well, you know, we we can go on and on, but then you but, come home but, and he rolls you in flour and looks for the wet spot. <laughs> let's, let's, let's talk about who's been married and divorced for four times. You know, maybe there's a reason it's missed the way you treat women. Yeah, but look who's happy. <laughs> Well, you know, obviously we have two totally different viewpoints, and so it's silly to keep on going on and on. So oh, I'll be the judge I... of that. Uh, thank you, Cruz. John, what do you want to say to Ellen? Hello? Yeah. Hey, uh, Ellen, dude, if your husband wanted a better-looking woman, he'd go over some 20-year-old. <laughs> you know, my husband isn't stupid. You know, <laughs> he's long past that. He's smart. He's banging, he's banging other chicks and using your money. My husband is not making anyone other than myself. How would you know? <laughs> I am positive. Oh, man. How does he look at you 25 pounds overweight and get aroused when you're naked? That's what I don't understand. If my you know, wife is 40, she'd be at least 120. Well, gentlemen, I think that everyone's entitled to their own opinions, and this is this is going nowhere. Yeah, so. well, well, I agree with you, and I think you're fat. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM. You're so rageful. I have never heard this word, by the way, rageful. But, uh, all right, I'll assume your IQ is in the triple digits for the sake of argument. You've never spoken to a psychotherapist. Uh, you're a psychotherapist, or are you just a psycho? The Tom Likas Show. <laughs> Like his show. one 800 800 tom Your girl have friends you hate. Rachel on the Tom Like His Show. Hello there, Rachel. Hi. <laughs> um, I was wanted to comment on what you said about women who are married who don't ha give their husband sex. Yeah. That's not true. I am one of many who... Manny, how do you know what the other people are doing? I don't. I'm just saying... You're one person life. talking about yourself. Yeah, well, I, I am. I'm just saying. I, you don't know what the other people are doing. I don't care what the other people are doing. I'm just saying you said it ends when you get married. I didn't say it ends. I said whatever you're getting today, it, it, I was talking to somebody who hasn't even gotten married yet. I said the way it is today is the best it will ever be. What do you mean by the best it will ever be? Like if you're getting it three times a week, that's the most you're going to ever get. I get it more than three times a week. Uh, dear, uh, whatever it is, w when you get married, that's the best it ever is. But that's your opinion, though. It's an opinion based on experience. Have you been married and divorced four times? No, I've been married ten years. All right. But the point is, I, how many times a week are you getting sex? Hey, when my husband says he wants some sex, he gets it. How many times a week? Oh, about mm, seven. How many times a week was it the month you got married? Uh, it actually is less then than it was now. Uh, usually, it's not the uh, it's the other way around. It's not like that. No, it's more now, and we do have. I said usually. Do you know what the word usually means? Yes, I do. All right. So even if you are getting it more now than then, it's also possible. That usually, that's not the case. Yeah, that's it's, it's not the case in most... Yeah, that's true. All right. True. Usually it's reversed. Well, then you agree with me. Yeah, I probably agree with you. I don't care if there are exceptions to the rule. <laughs> I've always said, but again, women just love to get irrational about this. That uh, you call me on the air like this, and you 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 tell me, oh, you're wrong because I'm not like that. But the, But you just admitted most people are like that. Okay, and I'm in the 1% of the 100% of the population, and <laughs> I there, guess. There we go. That's right. Because I, I'm very happy married. I'm very happily married. Well, I'm thrilled for you. Yeah. But you, 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 you live in Los right. Angeles, and two out of every three marriages here ends in divorce. Yeah, well, I have faith, so I'm still married. Well, I'm good. Happy. Well, as long as you're keeping your husband happy, that's likely to continue. All right. Thank you, Rachel. Appreciate the call. 
Oh, boy. Our email address. It's my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Call our comment line 24 hours a day. The number 310-842-9592. The Tom Likas Show.